Montreal. I get excited when I see the banners hanging. Will we see more in the not too distant future? Let's find out. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Welcome back. Yeah. What a way to. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast, and the coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. I can't remember the last time a goal's been scored against him, James, but that's going to do it. That's going to end the streak. But he has been unbelievable, tracking, dialed in, and making so many amazing saves. The Wild have abruptly dropped a shush, please, to the crowd here with that strike. Yeah, you call it the silencer, James. I mean, when you come into someone else's barn, you want to get off to a great start. Well, this is a perfect start when you score in the first minute of the game. Shot! And that's blocked. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Wild have taken control of the puck. Slides it quickly to Kaprizov. Go ahead. Imagine the confidence he can give his team and an opportunity to get back in this game. There's a shot turned aside with a glove by Flurry. Wait, the goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's up one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Montreal's game possession. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Canadians move it in. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. The Canadians have it against the wall. And he gets in front of it. The Wild have it in their own zone. Flurry's dialed in, James. I mean, he's coming off of a shutout, and he continues right where he left off with a huge save early in the game. Played big in the moment there. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Into the corner of the attacking area. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Picking up some steam at center ice. Here's a shot! Here's a shot! Oh, what a close save! Wow! Minnesota's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Suzuki's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Tries to get the puck to Polino. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Across the line. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. They go on the attack from the left side. And that's off a stick. Oh. The Canadians take it along the wall. Minnesota's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. <laughs> Weidman stick handling in his own zone. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. To the front. Oh, what an opportunity he missed. Oh, and I love the opportunity. 
opportunity that he does get. Good timing, anticipation skills, but he's got to find a way to convert and get it on net. Pumps it away in his own end. And he takes a shot with the stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Minnesota's opened things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. Erickson X, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. Minnesota's got into the offensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Gains the zone through center. Fires it. And it's an easy save. Fire. Weak. Stop. As the puck stopper elects to hang on. Past the midway mark of the frame. We've got a 2 0 game here tonight. Erickson X won the draw and they're on the attack. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Suzuki's moving it ahead. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Flurry's been outstanding tonight, yet. He's got a step. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. Minnesota's taken advantage of their opportunities Let's offensively go, so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Puck scooped up by Bogosian. And he can't hang on after that hit. Sometimes when you get one, many follows. But for this group, you can feel it. He just wants to get on the board. And he stopped that one. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Sends it over to Hartman. Ooh. And the officials waving off icing Pushing here. the wrong button. Gets in front of it. Picked up along the wall by Hartman. There he is from the slot. Oh, wow, another great stop. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. The Canadians win it in the defensive zone. Pumped off the puck. And he takes the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Duhans into the offensive zone now on the attack. Quick shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Moves it to the middle. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. Montreal's working the transition through the middle of the ice. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Minnesota's got the lead here late in this first period. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Looks to set up along the point. Let's it go! That goes off the post and stays out! Minnesota's been all over their opponent.
zone tonight. They've been dominating in all areas of the game, in particular possession in the offensive zone. This one goes right off of the post. Otherwise, they would have had an even bigger lead in this one. Erickson X ready for the draw on this man advantage. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Poked away by Brodeen. Quick pass across to Zuccarello. Shuts him down. Montembeau's been off here. Oh, what a save on scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. Erickson X won the draw at center. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Knocked off the puck. White's got it in the defensive end. Denied by Montembeau. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Erickson X won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's off a step. They score! A power play goal! Well, specialty teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision, and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. The Wild have been unrelenting in their pursuit of the puck and just shutting down the opposition at all ends. Well, when you have it, your opponent doesn't, and, and that's the starting point right here is they've been able to get a ton of shots and the net is reflective on the scoreboard, but at the other end, the goaltender has been fantastic made some key saves in this one. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Erickson X two-handed chop is going to send him off to the box. The Canadians get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Middleton's got the puck in his own zone. Sends it out in front. Takes a shot. Pass save. Oh, he got all of that one. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Minnesota's gained the line and into the zone. Pass in front. And that's Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Shot! Denies him in close. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. He grabs the puck here at the point. Moves it to Suzuki. Scores! And there it is! Number one of the season! That's a great way to alleviate pressure and expectations early, James. You get on the board, and guess what? You hope that the floodgates really open. Well, he's not going to get credit on the score sheet, but he's getting credit from fist bumps from his teammates, James, because they know, they know how important it is to have a player who's willing to pay the price, get in on the hunt, and win the 50-50 battle. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Centering pass! Couldn't complete the pass! Along the wing up the neutral zone. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick pass over to Zuccarello. Sends it in front. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. Great forecheck by Kaprizov. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Slapkowski. Gains the zone along the right wall. Takes the shot. Minnesota's got the puck. Pushes it across to Bogosian. Here's a chance. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive scores. Pop and Ballas for Selly. What a shot. That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? James, a top 
shatter shot that just sends the water bottle a sailing. Well, the game is played at such a high rate of speed, James, that you have to make decisions quickly, but there's a lack of coverage and a huge defensive miscue that leads to this goal. The Wild have looked as dominant offensively that I've seen all year, Cheryl. Yeah, and they're having a ton of fun out there. It's easy to have fun when the puck's on your stick and you're executing. Just gotta let that it That was very Canadian. Pass across to Doc. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Allen's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Off a stick, and they can't connect. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Nice speed of center moves up ahead now. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Minnesota's got the puck near the back end. And he loses control here. Ahead <coughs> of Excuse me. Towards the front. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. To the middle! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a chance up front. Stopped by the goaltender. And he takes the feed. And now he moves it quickly to Evans. Shot! And he turned that one aside. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Montreal's got it in the neutral zone. Turned aside. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Minnesota's in now. Skates to the crease. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And that shot dies in traffic. The Canadians have it behind the cage. Trying to get back on the attack now. There's well. the whistle. We've got it offside. Minnesota's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized on plenty as they take a sizable lead here late in the second. Puck picked up by Cooley. Puts it in deep. The Wild have possession along the boards. Taken by Merrill. Quick pass to Eric Sinek. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Way too much congestion blocks that. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Kaprizov's got it in the offensive zone. And that's off target as it hits a body. Evans has it in the defensive end. <coughs> Into the offensive zone. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Oh, my God. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Fires it on net. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two. And there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, 
How do you view it? Minnesota's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Throws it in. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Here they come. And here at center, that's intercepted. Stop. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Poked away at center by Kaprizov. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Good stop by Allen. Oh, so good. What a stop. Now oh, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Samar. Rossi's cut it across the line. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to the paint. And that's deflected off someone in front. Taken along the wall by Rossi. That goes off the mask. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Minnesota's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Docks won it off the face off. Tries to get it over to Anderson. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Pass to Doc. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Dishes it to Hartman. From the point, looks to make something happen. Quick feed to Hartman. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Minnesota's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. And now it's grabbed by Matheson, and he slides it quickly to Anderson. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle, and somehow he hangs on. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Denied by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a 5-1 hockey game. The Canadians will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Canadians win that offensive zone face-off and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Johansson's gained the line and on the attack. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. The Canadians have it now. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Moves it on over to Goudreau. Right up the gut, here they go. Moves it to Foligno. Minnesota's on the attack. Here's a short pass to Middleton. Minnesota's got it now. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Takes the feed. Great reach with the poke check. And he's knocked off the puck there. Slick feed. Erickson X has been leading the way offensively, James, and everyone's kind of looking to him. He has three points in the game, and the puck's been like magic on his stick. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Slides into Kaprizov. And a stick breaks that up. Great poke check on the reach. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Slides it on over to Zuccarello. Minnesota's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and there are a reason they're in the lead. Moves it quickly over to Savar. Slides it across to Slavkovsky. The Canadians will play it in their own end. 
Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got the puck. Works it across to Brodeen. Play whistle dead offside the call. Temperatures boiling over late here. He deserves Because there's certainly frustration as well. And when you're feeling frustrated, it's easy to just drop the gloves. And there's the takedown. I think you're over too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. We don't often see fighting much anymore, James, and, and this is why there's a real danger to it when you're taking a risk of injury. Who had the edge in Carlin Bates' mind? She's standing by with the answer. Suzuki's gone to work, guys, and even though he hasn't been rewarded with a point, I like how he's played his game better. Minnesota's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Montreal's looking to break out. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Taken by Rossi. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Summary pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Takes the feed from his netminder. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Takes a shot. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Fleury. And that doesn't reach the net. Middleton's moving the puck through his own zone. Here we go. Hot man rush here. Let's one go. We didn't need 60 seconds.